has been best lived keeping others in mind for East Central High School's Myra Morales. I'm always about giving. From routinely giving blood. I just like knowing that I saved a life or helped to save a life. To noticing someone alone, homeless, and in need, and then stepping in to help. When I used to work at Golden Corral, they throw away all the food. They throw away every single thing, and I just, I feel so bad, so I'd ask my boss if he'd let me take a little to-go box. On Myra's way home, she would see a woman standing near a highway off-ramp. Since it's like not a place you can stop, I'd park on the side of the road and then walk up. Myra's compassion for others driving her forward. It makes me, like, how old were you when you were doing that? Like 16, 17. What, like, what was the first time you thought, I'm going to get food for her? Why? I just see her, and I, I, I hope, I'd hope that, like, you know, they just, I don't know how to explain it. It just makes me sad knowing that she's just out there with no food, nothing. No shelter. Wanting nothing in return, she did it simply because she wants to be the example for how we should treat others. I think about others a lot, like how people feel and stuff, and I just wouldn't want to feel like that. And I'd hope like if I were ever to go through something like that, I'd have a me for myself. You know what that, you know what I mean? Myra has always been one to rise to the occasion. She's overcome family tragedies and trials, holding down two jobs while being a full-time high school student. My parents are getting older. Um, I just, I'd like to be responsible for my own things instead of having to like, I just don't want to be a burden on top of the problems they already have. So, Monday to Friday, she worked three days a week. But when the weekend came, while other students were on the couch, Myra was on her feet. No if, ands, or buts. The other one's 11 hours standing on the weekends. Saying it's taught her responsibility, how to manage time, money, and rude customers. You honestly just have to brush it off and just keep that happy, good attitude with them. I mean, it doesn't cost anything to be nice, but you just should be nice instead of bitter. Impressed yet, she's also excelled at school. I want to make my parents proud. That's one of my main goals. If you look at the academic load she's carried over these years, I mean, you know, she's had no fewer than four college level AP courses every year. I, I mean, you know, she, I, I told her just the other day, you know, she, there are a lot of paths through school and she's taken the hardest most challenging one. She also took on two college level concurrent enrollment classes, got straight A's almost every year, and was in NHS. It's also like an act of helping out in the community, so that's, why not, right? Myra is setting the example for future Cardinals. Excel towards being not the best, but just having good grades because I'm salutatorian. I wasn't even trying and I just turned in my work. That's right. She's not just a strong, driven person that gets good grades. She also had the second highest GPA in her class. This young lady is awesome. I am so proud of Myra. She has done an excellent job here. Her teacher, Jackie Portman, encouraging her to keep pushing forward. Go for it. That's the only advice I have. Take everything you got and go for it. Don't quit. The same is true for her assistant principal, Brian Stone. I just think she's amazing. I think she's a great example of what, of what a student can do when they really um, uh, decide to improve their life. As Myra looks to the future, she remains grounded in the simple secrets of life. It is important for me to, um, to get a good paying job, but mostly a job that I like. I want to do I want to be happy at my job. While she's unsure how she will pay her way through college, Myra is determined to continue to be a light, even in the darkest of places. I know like the world doesn't treat you maybe the way you treat others, but it's just nice. It's nice to be kind.